Hey there, there's tons of DIY YouTube videos out there that show people making their own uh, brass annealer. <clears throat> I just thought I would uh, show you my take on it. There's so many of them that I see that is, they're very big and heavy looking uh, contraptions and I, uh, I don't have the space and I just want something small and light that does the job. So this is kind of my take on it. I'm not going to show you how to anneal or anything. I just kind of want to just show you my take on it. Everything you see in red there is 3D printed. And uh, so this thing here cost me $35. All I had to buy is the, the drum, the speed controller, <clears throat> and the motor in the back. I had the rest of it on hand already. Uh, so just to kind of show you how it operates. Um, I went through three iterations of the hopper here, but I couldn't stop stop it from bridging and I kept having to, you know, poke at it to get the shells to continue. So I went in the, the ladder style here so, uh, so it uh, goes by itself. And in here I put a stopper so that the weight of the cartridges pretty much feed themselves, but uh, this little claw there holds it back. So let me just show you how, how it uh, operates. There it feeds them forward. <clears throat> and it's pretty much good to go the way it is with, with all shell sizes. I haven't, even though this in here is adjustable for like 223, would be a little smaller. Um, I found that it's, not really that necessary. Um, let me show you quickly the the back. Again, it's very simple. Speed controller, motor, and that's it. Very simple. This thing, whole weight thing, weighs probably at the most four pounds. Very small, light, and compact. <clears throat> now, when I got done with this this idea came to my mind of another way to do it so even though i didn't need another one i had to make one because i couldn't get this idea out of my mind so what i come up with <clears throat> is another version i guess you call my my 2.0 version um so what we here have now have and again all the the black parts on here are 3d printed and to include this gray, uh, gray piece here. <clears throat> now we have the traditional hopper, but the idea that came to my mind was this um, rotary dial that you can, you can select your cartridge size on it. And I couldn't get this out of my mind. And so the way it works is, let me, let me go ahead and, uh, run it to the top so this still has only one motor in it but for example this is for 223 size cartridges right here and if I wanted to load through load 308 all I have to do is turn that and it's to the next cartridge then I got a bigger one here that uh, works good for up to 338 or or even um, uh, 4570s and so let me show you what it is real quick all it is is three magnets on the back of that and three magnets on the on the back of this which causes that snap into place action and and so it really holds fast <clears throat> I really like how that came out the other thing I did here was I didn't like the the uh, bracket the uh, the holding arm on my old one how it was always if there wasn't a cartridge there it was constantly being in the flame and, and getting red hot so this one I ran inside and now the flame uh, doesn't hit it when the cartridge is not sitting there and I went ahead and threaded that I figured the threads touching the case there's a uh, bigger uh, or I'm sorry, a less chance of a heat transfer into the base of the cartridge <clears throat> might be a small thing, but but anyway, that's that's uh, why I did that on that. So let me show you real quick. Um, so 
So again, you can, we can feed the hopper like the old one, show you how it operates. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgot to select the cor correct cartridge size. <clears throat> So it just drops it there to pre-position it. And so again, if I want to switch to 223, I will just Turn the, the rotary dial there, <clears throat> put some 223 in it, and really that's nothing else needs to be adjusted. And I mentioned that it also accepts rim cartridge just fine. Here I have some 3040 Craig, uh, 3030 would be similar, but we have here some rim cartridges. And um, of course the, um, um, now I'd switch it to, you know, the 30 caliber size hole, the same one I used for the 308. And so it feeds rim cartridges just as well. And one more thing I'll show you. As an example, I'm going to switch to the to the large caliber size. And here are some rimmed 4570s. I probably got about $50 in this one because I had to buy a couple other things uh, um, that I didn't have, but no more than, for example, the wood. Now let me show you how it's, how it's, uh, the back. I told you all this black stuff is 3D printed. <clears throat> On this, I 3D printed gears so all we've got is the one motor speed controller and uh but i designed and, and printed out all all that stuff there and anyway i really like how the project turned out it's very light very convenient to store and just wanted to share it thank you